Good evening, Panther fans. Welcome to week number 10 of our 2016 season. Panthers come into the night's contest with the McLaurin Tigers with a uh, record of 6-3. and three. McLaurin comes into the night's contest with a record of 0-9. Uh, Panthers will be playing McLaurin tonight in, uh, over here in Richland, Mississippi with a special set of circumstances a couple weeks ago. The McLaurin Tigers uh, concession st- uh, press box, I'm sorry, uh, uh, caught fire uh, late one Tuesday night and uh, completely demolished it. So they're playing their home game tonight at Richland. So this will be another district uh, contest for the Panthers. Uh, Panthers uh, getting ready for a, a big uh, showdown next week with Raleigh. But uh, can't uh, afford to overlook the uh, McLaurin Tigers. McLaurin, uh, relatively young this year, uh, kind of in a rebuilding uh, mode with uh, Coach Johnny Mills. As most of you remember, uh, was a coach here at Morton years ago. Uh, He's doing a fine job at McLaurin, but uh, a lot of times your talent kind of graduates from time to time, and uh, uh, that's what's kind of happened to the uh, McLaurin Tigers this year. Uh, So... Panthers, uh, and here come your Panthers onto the field. Panthers will be dressed out in the white jerseys and the blue pants tonight. Uh, you hear the band playing uh, right below us. We are on the actually on the visitor side tonight. Uh, uh, Richland Rangers uh, fortunate to have two press boxes, so we get to be over here with our our fans tonight on this away game. So, and that's very special. We always like to be close to our fans, uh, our fans and our bands. Um, um, you can hear them playing the fight song. But uh, I'm not sure about the. Uh, looks like the Panthers are going to be. Uh, looks like they'll be kicking off. So Panthers must have won the toss and deferred to the second half, maybe. And uh, McClellan will be receiving. We're going to take a timeout for just a moment, and we'll be back with the kickoff. And the Panthers are ready for the kickoff. Everybody got their pink on for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, Agent Perez puts it down at right at the 30-yard line. The McClellan player puts it on the ground, was able to pick it back up and get on top of it. And looks like uh, McClellan will be starting at about the uh, 28-yard line. Tigers break to huddle, go into a kind of a nasty formation with an unbalance to the right. Uh, Gibbs going to be to the first man through, and he's going to be met by Freddie Hart and uh, Michael Gray and LaMarcus Denson for no little to no gain. Uh, they was able to stop up the hole pretty quick. Uh, that's going to be a lot of what you're going to see next week against Raleigh. So uh, that may be good for the Panthers to see a lot of running because uh, just watching the JV the other night, Raleigh ran the ball very well in the JV game, and uh, they just uh, they, they have a lot of eye candy going on in the backfield, but they're going to run it hard, fast, and uh, uh, they're going to run it between the tackles. McLaurin faced with a second down and 10. He's going to go stay in that same nasty formation. He is going to be to the opposite side, and big Kevin Walker in on the stop for a loss on the plate, back to about the 25, maybe about the 26. Going to bring up a third down and long for the Tigers. Third and long for the Tigers. Tigers staying in their same formation. Going to shift this time to the left side. And pitch out. And the ball's on the ground. It looks like the Tiger was able to, uh, running back was able to get back on top of it. Uh, it's going to be another loss on the play back to about the 21, 22 yard line. So that's going to bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Tigers. Panthers have D.D. Bowie back deep to to, uh, return the punt back at about the 35-yard line. Snaps back, kicks away as a line drive. It's going to go out of bounds at about the 42, 43-yard line. And that's where the Panthers will take over there, first and 10. Panthers come out in a trips to the left. Got a penalty on the play uh, before the play started. Looks like... uh, Maybe too many men on the field for, looks like I got an extra man out there maybe. Uh, I'm sure that's the only thing I could see would be the call. 
Well, they're only counting 11, so maybe it's an uh, it's an official glitch. Uh, we're going to step aside. We'll be back in just a moment. There was no penalty on the play, so Panthers will be first and 10. D.D. Bowie is looking for some room to the outside. Make that to the outside. He's still on his feet down inside the 30, down to about the 25, 26-yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Panther first down. First and 10 Panthers. He was going to be Devon Jennings, and uh, the play's going to be whistled dead at that point uh, before, the, before they got the playoff. Uh, not sure what the call is. Looks like it's going to be on McLaurin. Uh, may have been an encroachment or something like that, but uh, nevertheless, Panthers have it first and five at the, just outside the 20-yard line. First and five, just outside the 20-yard line for the Panthers. T.D. Bowie's going to give it to Vaughn Jennings right up the middle. He's got some running room down inside the 20, inside the 15, down to around the 10-yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Panther first down. First and 10 for the Panthers. Uh, Kill's going to be Devon Jennings again up the middle, and he's going to be wrestled down there for maybe a loss on the play. Uh, Panthers... Uh, in the uh, 77 food and fuel red zone for the first time tonight. Uh, didn't uh, fare too well on that first down. Uh, it's like it's going to be a loss on the play of about once. It's going to bring up a second down and 11. Panthers go quickly back to the line. Twins left, twins right. It's going to be a uh, keep by D.D. Bowie. And uh, he's going to pitch it late down at the 10-yard line. He's going to go into the end zone. For a Panther touchdown, but we have a flag on the play. Not sure what that's going to be. Looks like it's right in the area of a hole, so uh, we'll have to hold hold the scoreboard right now uh, and see what the call is going to be. Uh, looks like it is going to be uh, on the uh, Panthers, so that'll back that up and negate that touchdown. So Panthers looking a little, just a little sloppy early, so the ball will be moved back out to the 20-yard line. And it'll bring up a second down and 20. First and 20 for the Panthers. It's going to be a keep by D.D. Bowie. He's looking for some room. He finally pitches it, and uh, uh, Vaughn Jennings is going to carry it down inside the 10, down to about the five-yard line. We had another flag come in late. Uh, uh, Michael Gray's pleading his case to the coaches, and it uh, looks like it may be a, could be another hole penalty. Uh, uh, looks like... Uh, that's what it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be another holding penalty on the Panthers. Uh, got another wide out uh, doing a little 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 grabbing out there on the edge. So uh, that's going to back the Panthers up again. So that'll bring up a second down and uh, let's call it about 25 now. Second and long situation for the Panthers now. D.D. back looking to throw, looking to throw. He's got some running room to the right side if he chooses to. He's going to throw it up deep and out to the back of the end zone. Uh, it's going to go incomplete, so that's going to bring up a third down and long for the Panthers. Third and long for the Panthers. It's going to be a fake to Von Jennings, and Didi's facing some pressure on the right side. He put, fumbles the ball, picks it back up. He's down to the 20, to the 10, and he's going to be run out of bounds. At the, it looks like they're going to spot it at the one yard line. I don't see any flags on the play this time. Uh, DD put the ball on the ground, but he got the lucky hop, hopped right back to him. So Panthers be uh, first and goal at the one. First and goal, twins in the backfield this time. Vaughn and uh, Peyton Allen. Gives going to be to Vaughn up the middle, and he's going to go in untouched for the Panther touchdown. Panthers step out to a 6 to nothing lead with 7.36 left to go in the first quarter. And the extra point coming up by Adrian Perez. Perez on for the extra point. Nick Newsom's your holder. Freddie Hart's your long snapper. Snaps back, kicks up. It is good. Uh, Adrian Perez, 80% on the year. Um... Got a chance to speak with him the other night after the uh, Panther uh, win at home, and uh, 
he was uh, really uh, stressing really hard about uh, trying to get those uh, that percentage up above the 80% mark, uh, and he's uh, been working hard on that. Uh, so we're really proud of that young man. Panthers lead seven to nothing. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Prez on for the kick. It's going to be a line drive. Kicked up at about the 31 yard line. And then uh, that number seven for the uh, McLaurin Tigers is going to barrel forward out over the 40 to about the 42 and give the Tigers pretty good field position. First and 10, McLaurin. Going to stay in that nasty formation to the right. He's going to be to the uh, up back and he's going to go. Uh, into the middle to the opposite side. Going to run it against the power right now. And uh, that's going to be a uh, maybe a loss on the player. No gain. They bring up a second down and uh, let's call it 11. Second down. Long for the Tigers. It's going to be a give back to the opposite side of the field. And he's going to run into a host of Panthers. Uh, looks like uh, uh Malik uh, Washington uh, in on that stop. It's going to bring up a third down and call it uh, 12. Third and long situation for the Tigers. Staying in that same power formation. It's going to be uh, fake it this time. Number 17 is your quarterback. He's looking for running room. He's going to run out of real estate fast, and he's going to be brought down by, looks like, Vaughn Jennings on the stop, and that's going to bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Tigers again. Panthers, number one, D.D. Bowie. D.D. Bowie back deep, deep to receive the punt. Don't look like they will. Ball, it's going to be blocked and uh, going to be picked up, and uh, looks like uh, LaMarcus Denson's going to step into the end zone for the Panther touchdown off of the blocked punt. Uh, Looks like Marcus come up limping a little bit. I thought he was limping a little earlier. But uh, Panthers are going to step out to a 13 to nothing lead and uh, waiting on the extra point from Adrian Perez. Perez on for the extra point. Snaps low. Gets it up, and uh, it is good. Good job of Nick Newsom digging it out of the dirt. Getting it up on the tee, and the Panthers lead 14 to nothing. With 5.23 left to go in the first quarter. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Panthers ready for the kickoff. Florin Tigers ready. It's going to be a line drive, taking and kicking in the same spot. Number seven is going to pick it up again and barrel his way out to about the 40-yard line. That's where the uh, McLaurin Tigers will take over there first and 10. Taking on the return. First to ten, Tigers. Going we'll to move their uh, blocking backs to the right side, and they're going to try to run off tackle and uh, just not going to get anywhere. Uh, Panthers doing a good job of, uh, of containment right now. Peyton Allen and a host of other Panthers in on the stop. Uh, it's going to bring up a second down and 11. Lauren doing a little, little shifting around right now, trying to come up with something to uh, watch this Panther attack. It's going to be uh, some kind of a, I like it's going to be some kind of a trick play, but Jay Massey quickly to uh, pick up the fumbled uh, handoff, and the Panthers will take over there at the 35 yard. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. If you heard that sneeze, that was me. Uh, Panthers pick up the fumble. Jay Massey picks up the fumble, and the Panthers are in business at the 35-yard line. Uh, Gives going to be Devon Jennings, and we got a stoppage on the play. Uh, uh, we got a false start on or He's pointing towards Mike Lauren, um, but uh, he, maybe he's pointing at Michael Gray. Maybe that's who he was pointing at. So the Panthers be... Um, Backed up five yards, and they'll have first and 15 at the 40. Panthers with Vaughn Jennings alongside Didi Bowie. Gibbs going to be to Vaughn Jennings. He's looking for some room up the middle. He's got about four or five where he'll be stopped uh, just outside the 35, about the 36-yard line. It's going to bring up a second down and 11. Second down and 11 for the Panthers. 
Kill is going to be Devon Jennings, and he's no, it's going to be a keep by be a keep by D.D. Bowie, and he's looking for some uh, some uh, running room up the middle, and it's going to be stopped there for a, looks like maybe a loss on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and long for the Panthers. Third and long for the Panthers. It's going to be a fake. D.D. Bowie looking to throw, looking to throw. He's back looking. And um, he's uh, trying to find somewhere to throw, and he's going to finally throw back across the field to Vaughn Jennings. He's going to make the catch at the 30. He's still on his feet. He's going to be down inside the 20, inside the 10. He's going to go into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Uh, That was a – I wonder if that was a design play. Maybe not, but – Nevertheless, Panthers get on the board again with 2.27 left to go in the first quarter. Panthers are going to step out to a 20 to nothing lead, and uh, that was uh, one of those unorthodox kind of plays, and uh, Diddy was able to find Vaughn Jennings on the opposite side of the field. Dangerous pass across the field like that, but uh, he was able to get it home, and uh, Adrian Perez is going to be good. For the extra point, that's three for three on the night for him. So he's up above that 80% mark he was talking about. Uh, so with 227 left to go, Panthers leading 21 to nothing. We'll be back with a kick in just a moment. Agent Perez on for the kickoff. See if he kicks it to the 30 this time. No, he's going to leave it a little short this time. Number seven is going to return it up the up the left sideline. He's going to get out to about the 40, 41 yard line. About the same result. So uh, that's where the McLaurin Tigers will take over there. First and 10, we come back. McLaurin comes out in a spread formation now. Uh, twins left and right. Looking to throw the bubble screen. And uh, uh, looks like uh, he's going to number nine for the uh, McLaurin Tigers. That's going to be number. Uh, Javius Horton, he's going to run into big Freddie Hart for a no gain on the play. He's going to bring up a second down and 10. Second down 10 for the Tigers. Trying to find a little offense here. Uh, Ball's on the ground. It's going to be quickly picked up by the running back, and uh, Malik Washington's going to come barreling in there and uh, blow the play up. And... uh, it's going to be a loss on the play all the way back to the 36, 37 yard line. It's going to bring up a third down and long situation for the Tigers. Third and long. McLaurin goes trips to the right this time. Quarterback uh, fumbles the ball and uh, looks like, uh, who is that? That's Tyje Gilbert comes up with a fumble recovery. Uh, down inside the uh, 25-yard line, down at around the uh, – trying to see where the spot is, but uh, not sure where the spot is. Uh, let's call it about the 24-yard line. That's where the Panthers will start there. First and 10 when we come back. Panthers first and 10. It was going to be Devon Jennings, and he's going to find some running room off tackle down inside the 20, down to about the 15-yard line. Good first down pickup uh, for the uh, Panthers. It's going to bring up a second down, and let's call it one. As we start the second quarter, quarter ended while we were away. Uh, D.D. Bowie is looking for uh, some running room up the middle, and he's going to go into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Adrian Perez on for the extra point. Snaps back. Kicks up. And it is good. Four for four on the night for Adrian Perez. Got a trivia question for you tonight. Uh, This is one of those unanswered. We don't know the answer to it. We're reaching out to you tonight for this trivia question. The trivia question is, what player holds the single season record for most touchdowns in a season? I'm going to repeat it again. What player holds the record for the single-season touchdown record at Morton? Uh, if you know the answer to that, if you think you know the answer, you could go to our Facebook page and, uh, and, 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 and put that on there when you watch these playbacks next week, when you get through watching the playbacks. 
uh, you can uh, you can put in there on a post or uh, um, who you think it is. Uh, we're we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out the answer to that question because we think we may have a young gentleman that uh, may be close uh, to a record. Uh, so we'd like to know what that record is. So uh, Adrian Perez is on for the kickoff. He's going to tow it up and kick it down to about the 31-yard line. And number seven's found some running room. He's out over the 45 to about the 47-yard line before he'll be brought down there. He uh, decided to go back towards the middle of the field and found a seam and uh, got the uh, McLaurin Tigers a little bit better field position. So uh, that's where the Tigers will start there, first and 10, when we come back. <clears throat> McLaurin, first and 10, goes trips to the left. New quarterback in the game, number 15. Good pass out to number 36, just a little hot. Couldn't handle it. Uh, it's going to go incomplete, bring up a second down and 10. Um, second down and 10 for the Tigers. Trying to get some offense going. Number 15 back looking, going to throw it up. And looks like it was a miscommunication on the route. Number 14. Uh, stopped his route short, and the ball is going to go incomplete. It's going to bring up a third down and 10. Third down and 10 for the Tigers. Right. Look at the throw. Got a man out there. It's going to be complete to number 36. Down to about the 45-yard line. It's going to be a couple yards short, looks like. It's going to bring up a fourth down and two in decision time for the Tigers. Fourth down, Tigers look like they're in the punt formation. Ever know about Coach Mills? He may pull a rabbit out of the hat, and there it is. And that's number 33, and he looks like he's got enough for a Tiger first down inside the 40 down to about the 39-yard line. I'm trying to get that youngster's number for the uh, Tigers. That's number 37, and that is going to be – I don't have him on the list, so – Let's try 32. Let's see if 32 is on there. Robert Bacon, Jr. Good job by that youngster to pick up the Tiger first down and keep the drive alive. Down inside the 40, down to the 39-yard line. Tark McLaurin is going to go quickly back to the line. Number 15 is quarterback. He's looking to throw, and ball's tipped, but then caught by number 36. Uh, and he's going to be down to about the uh, 32, 33-yard line. Uh, Somebody got a hand on it and not hit, uh, was able to get it up in the air. Uh, Christian uh, Chris Hard Chase is the quarterback for the uh, Tigers. Uh, that gives him two completions here early in the second quarter. Panthers make some wholesale changes and uh, get some. I think get some of the starters back into the ball game. And looks like the Tigers maybe going to take a timeout here. Timeout with. 837 left to go in the third in the second quarter. Panthers leading 28 to nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. After the timeout, Tigers come out with the trips to the left formation. Ball's gonna be on the ground. Running back's gonna get on top of it quickly. Covered up. That's gonna be a loss all the way back to about the 35, 34, 36 yard line. It's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it about seven. Third and long situation. Twins left and right for the Tigers. Quarterback looking to throw. Going to throw into the middle of the field, and looks like that youngster is going to be down uh, inside the 30, down to about the 26-yard line. That's going to be enough for a Tiger first down. First down, Tigers stay in the trips this time. Quarterback looking to throw. Going to throw it up into the corner of the end zone. Got a man out there and just put it on the uh, wrong side of him. Uh, but uh, good throw by number 15. That's going to bring up a second down and 10. Tigers look like they're going to stay in a throwing situation. Seem to have had some success. Going to be a throw out into the flats. Going to go incomplete. Uh, pass intended for number 36 for the Tigers. Trivia question, the real trivia question for the night is uh, what Panther was Ole Miss's 
one thousand first one thousand yard receiver. What Panther player, former Panther player, was Ole Miss's first one thousand yard receiver? Think you know the answer? Well, you got to stick around to the third quarter and find out. Uh, we'll have the answer to that, and um, and more action coming up. Tigers are going to be faced with a third and long situation. Going to throw it up into the opposite side. Looks like uh, uh, Jarius White uh, just uh, he saw he saw a lot of green grass in front of him and just couldn't keep an eye on that little brown football. Ball's going to go incomplete. That's going to bring up a fourth down and decision time for Coach Mills. Fourth down, Tigers going to roll the dice. Uh, they went for it one time already and got it. Uh, looks like the uh, Coach Mills is going to call a timeout. We're going to take a timeout, too, with 5.50 left to go in the second quarter. We'll be back. Tigers going to go for it. Quarterback back looking to throw, fakes into the sideline, throws over the middle, and the ball is going to go incomplete. And that's where the Panthers will take over there, first and ten. We'll be back. Panthers go first and ten. Gives to Von Jennings. He's got some running room. He's down the sideline. He's out to the 50. Uh, well, he's going to be down at the 46-yard line, and uh, that'll be enough for a Panther first down. Panthers first and ten first out at the 46-yard line. It's going to be a fake by fake keep by D.D. Bowie, and he's off to the races. And he's down to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Panther, touchdown. Panthers in two plays go some 80-something yards for a Panther touchdown. And the Panthers will step out to a 34 to nothing lead with 412 left to go in the second quarter. We'll be back with the extra point. Adrian Perez on for the extra point. Kicks up, and it is barely good, but it's in there. So Adrian stays perfect on the night, and the Panthers lead 35 to nothing. We'll be back in just a moment with the kickoff. Perez is ready for the kickoff. Here's your kick. Ball's going to carry down. Oh, and he's going to be down. He uh, reached up and got it, but he, he was stumbling backwards and fell. Number, uh, just like number two for the Tigers, and the ball's going to be down at the 31-yard line. That's where the Tigers will take over there first and ten when we come back. Tigers first and ten. Going to go back to the power formation, try to do a little run in here. Panthers got several subs into the ball game. Gibbs going to be to the... Uh, up back and uh, looks like uh, looks Breaking like uh, Lane. No, that's going to be Ken Walker Jennings in on the stop. So that's going to bring up a second down and long for the Tigers. Second down and long for the Tigers. Gonna change their power package to the right side this time. It's going to be a pitch out, a tall sweep. Number two's got looking for some running room. Finds a little bit to the outside, not much, Number but uh, going to be brought down by Drake Morgan and uh, Lane Bailey. It's going to be a gain of about maybe a yard. It's going to bring up a third down and long situation. Third and long for the Tigers. Probably be the last play of the first half. Number 15 checks back into the game, and... Uh, Michael Gray is going to intercept it, uh, uh, pass play over the middle, and uh, Michael Gray steps in front of it for the interception. So that's going to be the end of your second quarter. Panthers leading 35 to nothing. It's halftime. Panthers uh, uh, looking sharp in places, uh, a little less sharp in some others. A uh, little uh, coach them up at halftime. Probably let's see a lot of the uh, uh, JV the second half. Uh, them youngsters uh, – uh, played a pretty tough uh, Raleigh bunch the other night. Looks like uh, Raleigh bought a lot of varsity with them that night. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, the Panthers JV uh, played very, very admirable that uh, uh, Tuesday night. So look forward to seeing some more of those youngsters get some playing time. We'll be back with the second half in just a bit. Welcome back, folks. Getting ready to start the second half. 
Plumbers got their kickoff team out. Panthers will be receiving the second half kickoff. And here's your kick. It's going to be a squib kick. going to be taken by Nick Newsom. He's going to take a knee at the 39-yard line. That's where the Panthers start their first possession of the second half. Panthers with their JV uh, into the ball game, uh, hustling the quarterback on a little late. Try to get some of those uh, names of those youngsters. That's Ty J. Smith, the quarterback. Number 45 is J.J. Foster, your long back in the backfield. It's going to be a keep by Ty J. Smith, and he's going to be corralled and back for a loss back all the way to the 36-yard line. It'll be a loss on the play of about four. It's going to bring up a second down and 14. Panthers second and long. He was going to be to J.J. Foster. He cuts back and is trying to find some running room up the middle. Going to fight his way back out to about the 40. Gain back that loss on the uh, first down play. So it's going to bring up a third down and let's call it 10. Third and 10. Panthers bring Parrott in motion. Going to give to Parrott on the jet sweep. And he's got uh, a good job, McLaurin, for corralling that play and uh, stopping it for a loss. All the way back to the 37-yard line. That's going to bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Panthers. Panthers. Fourth down and long for the Panthers. Looks like Lane Bailey's checking into the ball game for the uh, punting duties. Back deep to receive the punt. Number 15, Richard Chase. Lane gets into a high end over end. There's going to be taken at the uh, 30 yard line. It's going to be hit immediately by Freddie Hart. And he bounces off of him and uh, picks up another yard before he'll be taken down there. And that's where the McLaurin Tigers will start their first possession of the second half. First down, McLaurin, right at the 30-yard line. A little different-looking formation. Going to be a reverse. And looks like number eight's got some running room out over the 40. Down to the – out over the 50-yard line. It's going to be run out of bounds there finally at about the 47-yard line, 46. That's going to be enough for a McLaurin first down. Our trivia question for the night was what Panther – Player, former Panther player, played at Ole Miss and was their first 1,000-yard receiver. What former Panther player played at Ole Miss and was their first 1,000-yard receiver? If you said Shea Hodge, you would be correct. Shea Hodge is our answer for the night. Don't forget about our other trivia question we're still working on, trying to find the answer to about our uh, single-season touchdown uh, record holder uh, trying to figure out who that is uh, first down McLaurin gives going to be the number two he's looking for some running room and J.J. Foster is there for the stop and uh, fumble on the play and looks like the Panthers come up with it uh, trying to see who come out of the pile with that uh, that's going to be number 17 number 17 is uh, La Davius Williams uh, comes up with the fumble recovery and the Panthers uh, have the ball at the 46 yard line First and ten, we come back. Panthers first and ten. Back with J.J. Foster at the running back. Quarterback Ty J. Smith's going to keep it. He's got some running room over the 50 down to about the 45, maybe the 44-yard line where he'll be corralled there, and that's going to be enough for a Panther first down. First and ten, Panthers in McLaurin territory. He's going to be to J.J. Foster up the middle. He's got some running room. He's down inside the 30, down to about the 26-yard line. That's going to be enough for another Panther first down. Panthers pick up another first down by the way of the run. Uh, Looks like we had a little... uh, Movement there. It looks like uh, may have been the uh, Panthers. A little, uh, little early to get started. It looks like it is going to be against the Panthers. Come back them up five. Come bring up a first and 15. All the way back out at the 32 yard line. First and 15 for the Panthers. Gives going to be to JJ Foster again. 
He's going to be corralled there and uh, be br- finally brought out for little to no gain. Uh, got uh, several good-looking youngsters into the ball game. Uh, that uh, JV line is uh, got some good size to it. Uh, have made some pretty good holes so far, and uh, uh, so that's uh, that's our future out there. That's uh, tomorrow's starters uh, getting an opportunity to uh, get some good playing time tonight. Uh, probably see them the whole second half. Uh, Panthers uh, faced with a second down and 15. It's going to be another keep by Ty J. Smith. He's looking for some running room. He's down inside the 30, inside the 20. It's going to be finally ran out of bounds down around the 16-yard line. So the Panthers will be into the 77 food and fuel red zone once again. Uh, Good, good line blocking, good uh, blocking by those uh, exterior uh, receivers out there. Good, uh, good one-on-one blocking out there to uh, to spring that play for about 15, 20 yards. Um, so the Panthers will be down inside the red zone. Uh, bring uh, Ken Anderson, number seven, Jalen Anderson, I'm sorry, into the ball game. And he's going to give to Jalen. And he's off the left side, and he's going to – uh, be stopped after about a yard game. We're going to bring up a second down and nine. Second down for the Panthers. Ty J's going to give it to Jalen the other way this time, and uh, he's going to run into uh, uh, a pile of green jerseys out there uh, for the stop for a little to no gain. It's going to bring up a third down and long situation for the Panthers. Third and long for the Panthers. It'll be another keep by Ty J. He's down inside the 15 to the 10. He's to the 5. He's into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. But we got a flag on the plate uh, right in the middle of the field. That's going to be in the area of a HOLD hole. And I believe that's what the call is going to be. So that'll bring that back. Uh, the um, thought the Panthers done picked up their first JV touchdown of the um, season for his uh, in the varsity game, but uh, that'll be negated by the old penalty. So uh, that'll bring up a third down in about 15 uh, for the Panthers. Uh, still within striking distance. Would love to probably in two down territory right here, unless they try to go the field goal route. Uh, not sure. This is uh, probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. At the, uh, I think both coaches decided to go to a running clock. Looks like the McLaurin Tigers may have give five of that back to them just then. Not sure. Got to check make sure. It looks like it is going to be on the Tigers. So that will move the ball down inside, just outside the 15-yard line. So that will bring up a third down and uh, let's call it nine. Third and nine for the Panthers. As we start the fourth quarter, Ty J. Smith uh, on the carry. He's going to be down. Uh, looks like he's going to be down inside the 15. Uh, it's going to be uh, maybe a gain of a couple. It's going to bring up a fourth down, and let's call it seven. Fourth down. Panthers are going to go for it here. Ty J back looking to throw, looking to throw under pressure. He's going to finally get rid of it. It's going to be almost intercepted, but it's going to go incomplete. And that's where the Tigers will take over there first and 10 when we come back. First and 10, Tigers just outside their 10 yard line. We'll go back to that nasty formation. Gives going to be to number 32, looks like, going on the opposite side. Like he may pick up maybe a yard or so. Uh, for he'll be met and uh, brought down by looks like uh, Drake Morgan and uh, trying to get that other youngster's number. Uh, keep, maybe that's Jalen Anderson. So uh, it's going to bring up a second down and nine. Second and long for the Tigers. Go to an eye formation set this time. Quarterback back looking to throw. Going to throw it up and uh, going to throw it a little bit too far for the uh, intended receiver, which was uh, uh, number 15 for the uh, 
Chase for the Tigers, which played quarterback some in the first half. On so the play, uh, Coach the Mills just uh, shuffling things Jerry around now, uh, trying to get some, uh, some, uh, some, some movement with the uh, offense right now. Uh, that'll bring up a third down and long for the Tigers. Uh, Panthers check in uh, John Sims into the ball game at a linebacker spot, along with Drake Morgan and J.J. Foster is at your linebacker spots. Quarterback's going to throw it up again. It's going to be, uh, again, go incomplete way too far out. Uh, so uh, that'll bring up a fourth down and a decision time for Coach Mills. Looks like he's going to go the punt route. So the Panthers get the punt team out there on the field. Uh, Not sure who they're going to drop back deep. Uh, uh, Maybe, uh, not sure, not sure. Looks like they're going to drop back uh, Vonnie Barlow back to return this punt. Panthers blocked a punt in the first half. Not sure if they'll be going after this one or not. Uh, Panthers should come out of this with pretty good field position. Uh, And punts away. Kind of a line drive. Uh, looks like the Panthers are going to get away from it and let it go dead out at about the 41-42 yard line. Kind of a rugby style kick by number 32, but he got it out of there. And the Panthers will take over there with uh, 7.53 left to go in the ball game, leading 35 to nothing. We'll be back. First and 10, Panthers. Panthers. Check John Sims in at a running back spot. He's looking for some running room. He's up the middle. He's down inside the 35, down to about the 33-yard line. Good first down pickup for the Panthers. Uh, now, folks, don't forget about it. Next week, uh, Panthers will be taking on the Raleigh Lions, and that will be for the district championship. Again, just that like it was last year. But, uh, you know, Panthers uh, really need your support next week. So uh, when you watch this video next week, uh, don't forget about uh, telling your friends and and buddies and family all just come out and support the Panthers next week. Uh, we'll have the Raleigh Lions at home, and uh, and and you know they uh, they're they're sitting down there undefeated right now. John Sims is going to carry again, and uh, he's going to meet a, a lot of resistance from the uh, McLaurin Tigers on that Sims carry. So uh, carry it's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it four for the Panthers. But, uh, yes, we want to uh, make sure we have a huge crowd next Friday night. we got to make a lot of noise and uh, get behind our Morton Panthers. Uh, like I say, this will be for district championship. Uh, Raleigh sitting down there undefeated right now. Uh, uh, but they hadn't played us yet. So uh, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for next week is a big crowd and uh, come out and make a lot of noise and uh, support the Panthers. Uh, as, as we get ready to go into the playoffs, high snap by Ty J, uh, brought down by Ty J Smith. He's looking for some uh, running room. He's got some running room down the sideline, and he's still on his feet and drops the ball and uh, it's a mad scramble for it right there on the sideline. Uh, I don't know if anybody hit him, but uh, it looks like uh, McLaren has recovered down at around the 15, 16 yard line. Uh, Ty J just uh, carrying the ball like a loaf of bread and. Uh, that's what'll happen to you. You have to be careful and hold on to that ball. So uh, Tigers will take over there with uh, five nineteen left to go in the ball game, and uh, get that offense back out on the field. And uh, Panthers get their defense back out. Uh, seeing fresh faces come into the game the, every time we turn around. So we'll try to get those numbers called out best we can. Tigers come out with a twins left and right this time. One back set. Quarterback back looking to throw. He's going to throw it out, and it's going to be uh, intercepted by number 17, uh, Ladavius Williams, and he's going to go into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Ladavius Williams for the Panthers. The pick six. Adrian Perez on for the extra point. Nick Newsom, your holder. Pretty Hart, your long snapper. Snaps back, kicks up. It's long enough. It's high enough. It is good. Panthers lead 42 to nothing with 335, 355 left to go in the ball game. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Adrian Perez on for the kickoff. Ball's going to be kicked down inside the 30, be picked up at about the 25. And number 37 is going to return it out to about the 30, where he'll be brought down there. That's number 32, I'm sorry. Where he'll be brought down there. 
And that's where the uh, Tigers will take over there with two minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the ball game. Tigers back on the attack, first and 10. Quarterback looking to throw, throws over the middle. It's going to be complete. Ball hits the ground. It's going to be ruled incomplete. Uh, looks like number 82, Justin Creel, picked it up and was ready to go to the house with it, but they called it incomplete, so that's going to bring up a second down and 10. Second and 10 for the Tigers. Quarterback pumps and throws deep and it's going to go incomplete. I think he thought he was fixing to get hit and uh, was preparing for the worst. And uh, looks like number 21, which is not on our roster, but uh, that youngster come flying off the edge and was able to get through unscathed and uh, uh, just just missed the quarterback. Uh, so it's going to bring up a third down and 10. Third and 10 for the Tigers. Could be your last play of the ball game. Pass out into the flats. Number four is your receiver. He's still on his feet, being finally brought down by number 32. Number 32, that's Derek Evans. Uh, And that's going to bring up a fourth down and about two. uh, Twelve seconds left on the clock. Uh, Not sure if they'll get another playoff or not. Down to seven. And that's going to be your ball game, folks. Uh, evidently, it was a decided uh, at halftime or, or earlier that the uh, the they would run the clock the second half. So, JV got a, a decent amount of playing time the second half. Panthers are going to win tonight, 42 to nothing over the McLaurin Tigers. Uh, like I say, we really, really need your participation to be out next Friday night uh, as the Panthers take on the, McLo- on the Raleigh Lions. In Morton, uh, it'll be on our turf this year, so we need your support. To come out and support the Panthers, uh, like the All State team does every year with their support. And we'd like to call out our All State team at this time and uh, just just mention them and uh, uh, let them know what, what let them know if you, if you see these folks in, in their stores or, or these individuals that we appreciate them for all that they do for Morton athletics and Morton football in particular. Uh, our all-state team for 2016 is Ron's Auto Sales, DK Auto Parts, Morton Home Center, David Livingston, Bank of Morton, Howard Clark, Thompson and Hollinsworth, Paul's Printing, Spaceway, Mississippi Care Center of Morton, Morton City of Morton, McCurdy Auto Sales, Fitness Masters, Jeff Coach Fence, French's Pharmacy, Blaine Companies, Gingerbread House. Rush Health Systems, Morton Finance, Green Tree RV Campground, J&J Imports, Jamie Ackerberger, Ross DMD, Citizens National Bank, Otten Lee, Truman Manning, BWK Auto Parts, Chambers Body Shop, Johnny Harrell, DJ's Air Conditioning, Invisible Fence, Sam's Diner, Forrest Ford, Jeff Holly, Marshalls, DMB Discount Drugs, Morton Recreational Concessions, Protect, Griffin Family Medical, Tommy Miles Tri-County Insurance, Paps Deer Processing, Fairway Foods, Cook Foods, Morton Lions Club, Tom Miles Representative, Ribcage of Morton, 77 Food and Fuel, Morton Exxon, Cook Medical, Community Bank, Main Street Medical, Priority One Bank, Farm Bureau of Scott County, Morton, and Forest. Fisherman, Fisherman's Corner. McDonald's. Subway. Kevin and Tiffany Walker. Unique Designs and Catering. The Citizens Bank of Forest. And Bill Stedman and Billy Jean Stedman. We'd like to th- thank, them, thank these folks once again for all they do for helping to support Morton football. Final score from Richland tonight. Panthers 42, Morton 0. Panthers 42, McLaurin 0. Uh, Don't forget, next Friday night in Morton, district championship on the line. Morton Panthers versus the Raleigh Lions. We hope to see you there next Friday night. 
Uh, let's uh, let's make some noise and get behind our Panthers as they uh, uh, shoot for another district championship. Uh, uh, love to see one, see them bring one home uh, next Friday. So uh, hope to see you there. If you have that trivia question, if you think you know the answer to it, uh, if you would just drop a, a, a post on Facebook on our web page, and uh, we would surely appreciate it. The uh, We'd love to find out the answer to that. So uh, if you think you know, drop us a drop us a, a post. Uh, for Donovan Offer, this is James O'Kane. We'll see you next week in Raleigh. Have a good week, good night, good week, and good God bless.